Welcome back to Undertale. We're on our way to the castle. But before that, let's read some signs. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. God, humans are assholes. Whoa. It's getting all strange again. Am I going to encounter? What's my health at? 20 out of 20, okay. Oh, right. I saved, which restores my health. That's right. I feel like I should whisper because it's quiet. Hmm? 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 Hmm. Hmm! Oh, doing this again. Uh, they're coming faster now. Damn it. Oh no, we're not done. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. Uh, did end? What's my health at? I can't check my health. Undyne. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Uh? Huh? <laughs> I just love that line because of my name. Uh? Huh? That's a nice name. No, no, it's, it's really not a nice name. My name is... Whoa. Oh. Was that a dream? And if it wasn't a dream, then where did they go? Whoever was talking to me. What the... Oh. Oh, this is water. Wait. It's not water? Huh, I think I was walking on water for a second for some reason. Yeah, it is actually water. What the heck? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. So it's human garbage? Just garbage. You sure about that? Garbage. Hmm... A trash heap. Your persistent garbage habit shows no signs of payoff. Oh, I'm gonna find some gold in here. Trash. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, maybe not. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. I'm going to check every dang pile. This one too? There's going to be something in one of them. You rest your hand on the rusted bike. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair. <laughs> Was that the honk of despair? A beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? Sure. You're carrying too much. Oh. That's right, I've got the dog residue. Damn it. <sighs> well... Can I just drop the dog residue? It was thrown away. There we go. Got the astronaut food. Let's throw away one more dog residue, because that's super gross. I'll keep one on me, just in case. Let's take a look at the astronaut food. Astronaut food heals 21 HP for feeding a pet astronaut. Hmm. Are there more? Yeah, there's more. Well, in that case, I guess we can just dump the bicycle? Might as well. I mean, I could dump the old tutu and ballet shoes, too. I certainly don't need the ballet shoes. I'm gonna drop them. Goodbye, shoes. I mean, maybe I was, like, constructing the whole outfit. I've got the shoes, I've got the tutu, but... Whatever. Do I have any more space? Oh, it's empty anyway. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. <laughs> Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Of course. You tap the dummy with your fist. You feel bad. Aw. Hmm? Hmm. Fool. You think you can hurt me? Oh wow, I really shouldn't have done that. I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. Mad dummy blocks away. Let's have a chat. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Oh. Oh. Oh, they can get hit with their own projectiles. Hmm. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about magic. Hmm. Looking nervous. Should I keep trying to talk? You talk to the dummy. Uh, doesn't seem much for conversation. Alright, so that doesn't do anything. So I guess I just have to manipulate the projectiles. Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. What if I just try to spare them right now? Let's try. 
I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Mad Dummy is bossing around its bullets. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. <laughs> That's your greatest dream. Ow. Mad Dummy is doing an armless ska dance. I've actually taken a fair bit of damage. Eh, I'll be fine. Then everything I want will be mine! Well, I didn't direct those projectiles at all. Mad Dummy's getting gotten all over the dialogue box. <laughs> it's really dancing around, isn't it? Dancing to the beat. Yeah, huh. I guess that'll avenge my cousins. Or cousin, not multiple. Whoa! Dang it. Alright, let's try to actually get these projectiles in the right place. There we go. Couple more good hits. Come on. Still, nothing's really happening. Are you ready to talk? No? I guess just keep... keep hitting it? Ah, oh, dang it. Couldn't get over the side fast enough. Dang it! I've got to be lower down so I can guide them more. There we go. There we go. Hey, guys! Whoa! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well... Failures! You're fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical whirs fill the room. Hmm. Okay. Dummy bots. Magic missile. <laughs> wow, so, so hard. Come on. <laughs> Dummy bots. You're awful. Yep. Oh god, that was not the way to go. I think I probably should heal at this point. Let's uh, just eat a little bite of bicycle. Final attack, huh? Oh. are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. Uh, is, is that it? You just had one knife? I'm uh, out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me. Forever. Forever. Forever! Oh my god, it's like flying off the screen. Jesus. What the heck is this? Ugh. Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. <gasps> it's you! Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no. You guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no... 
Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Oh, I'll come with you. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. North. Bluke Acres. East Hotland. Question mark. Temi Village. Which direction is question mark? Aww. The house is shaped like the ghosts. <laughs> oh. You really came. Sorry, I uh, wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. I notice there's no chairs. I guess ghosts don't need to sit. The CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it? Sure. You play the CD. <laughs> Spoopy. Spook Wave. Let's play it. <laughs> it's just like a remix. Gula Day music. That sounds so bad. <laughs> hey, can I put more money in this spider web? It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. <laughs> all the spiders know about the bake sale. Even though it's all the way back in the ruins where nobody can actually go? I don't know what's up with that, but I guess word spreads fast. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Uh, sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sh sh sure, sure. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up, I guess. this. Um. I feel one with the universe. I think I'm going to stay here a while. What? What? Oh. Oh. I think I fell asleep. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on that mix CD. Okay, bye, ghost. It's locked. 
Hmm. Hey! Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. Wow, they have four different kinds of snails. There's a snail with a shell, a snail without a shell, there's a snail person, and there's like a snail... Uh, I don't even know what that is. A snail with a mustache. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> so its language is snail snail, which translates to a long journey extends in front of you. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. So Snailith, Sam... Buell? That's gotta be a reference to something. I've been long overdue for a second house. <laughs> that's, that's just a person. Just a person with a snail shell. Second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. Small dollar bills? Snail sized dollar bills? Snaller bills? Oh. Oh, is there gonna be a snail? Oh my god, there's a snail race. Do you want to play a game? Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's ten gold to play. Sure. Okay. Press C repeatedly to encourage your snail. Oh, it's one of those games. Okay. Let me get out my keyboard. I'm gonna two-finger my Z key. Ready? Two. One. Huh? What the? Huh? What? I don't understand what that means. Did I press it too fast? What's happening? I lost! Oh, looks like you encouraged your snail too much. Dang it! Okay. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Oh no. I pressured her too much. Okay, let's do it again. Let's not two finger it. I'll one finger it. Okay. I'll start nice and slow. Oh, too much. Too- too much? Maybe I just, like, never need to press it. I- I can't seem to ever- I'm not even pressing it right now. If I press it once, it just makes my snail freak out and stop. That's the joke, isn't it? You're supposed to mash Z to encourage your snail, but you can't encourage it at all or it stops. Because you just pressure it too much. Yeah. You, yeah, you can't ever press C. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try it again, but without pressing Z at all. God, I'm gonna go broke here. How much do I have? Oh, I've got 200 gold. I've got, I've got 20 more tries, and if it takes me 20 tries, I will do it. Okay. No hands, not touching. Not touching. You got this one, Yellow. You got this. Yeah, you got this! Come on, Yellow! God, I really don't think she's gonna win. Okay. 
Hmm, I think she's actually further behind than she was before. Maybe you do need to press C, even though it stops your snail when you press it. Maybe you need to, like, maybe the gains you get from, like, maybe after stopping she gets faster when she does start moving? So maybe I need to press it a bit, like, burst it and then just let her go for a while? I, I don't know. This is so bizarre. Should I even be trying to figure this out? I really want to, though. So I'm gonna burst Z. She doesn't seem any faster. If anything, she seems slower. Oh, that was too much. Yer. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. One more time. One more time. Um, okay, you know what? No. I, I don't- I'm not entirely convinced this game is actually winnable. I'm done. I'm- I'm out. I'm broke. I've spent, like, half my life savings on snail races. Like, I need to take control of my life. Can I, like, use one of these snails to, like, maybe- I mean, not to insult yellow, but maybe one of these snails is faster than yellow? No. Nah. <gasps> the duck! This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Oh, that sounds adorable, but no thanks. No need. Let's put the old tutu and the dog residue in there. Yeah, just tons of food. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Let's talk to you. Tell me about yourself. I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Wah ha ha! Tell me about that emblem. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school these days? Wah ha 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 ha. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Hmm, new. Emblem's meaning. That emblem actually predates written history. Predates? Predates? Like predator? Let's try that again. Actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes... something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah. The prophecy. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been talking, have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that winged circle the angel of death, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. I guess I'm probably part of the prophecy. And I guess whether I'm a angel of mercy or an angel of death is probably going to be up to me. Tell me about the king. King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Hmm. 
Now I'm wondering if I've maybe like already met him or something. Maybe the king is the duck. <gasps> eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. I'll try to remember to come back, so that you remember. But I probably won't remember. So you'll remember, but I won't. Tell me about Undyne. Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. Oh, is that a hint about a future boss battle coming up soon? Hmm? Whoa there. I've got some neat junk for sale. I wonder if I can sell stuff to this person. Ha! <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of my junk, not get more of it. Though I've heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. <laughs> Just like the sign. Alright, what have we got? Crab apple. Oh, and it literally looks like a crab. Speed up in battle. Hmm. That could be nice. I mean, sometimes I move too fast, and so being faster would actually be a bad thing, but sometimes being faster is a good thing. So, I don't know. I might want that for like a boss battle or something, just in case. Cloudy glasses. Five defense. Invincible longer. Hmm. So I've got, I get more invincibility frames after I get hit, I guess. Because once you get hit, you blink for like a second or two and you can't get hurt during that period. It doesn't say how much longer the invincibility period is though. Like a second, two seconds? Torn notebook. Ah, it's a weapon. Hmm. The invincibility longer would stop you from taking massive amounts of damage in a short period of time, which is good. It's got less defense, though. I don't know. I really don't know. You know what? I'm gonna go with it. And I'll take some CT. Might be situationally useful. Be careful out there, kid. I should probably equip my stuff, right? That might be a wise idea. There we go. Stuff our old stuff in the box. The manly bandana. And maybe I should just put my snowman piece in there. But then, how will I know when to use it, you know? Like, when I can use it might show up just randomly, and I won't think about it unless I have it on me, and the dialogue option shows up or something. I'm gonna keep it. I'm also gonna go save. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There's only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Seven human souls. That's an oddly specific number. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There's no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. <gasps> what is that?
special enemy, Temmy, appears here to defeat you. It... it seems very excited. It's gyrating. Its face is gyrating, too. Separate from its body, which is kind of disconcerting. Uh... Talk? You say hello to Timmy. Hoi, I'm Timmy! What? What the fuck? What? What the hell was that? Timmy forgot her other attack. Uh... Uh, apparently we're good. I, I can spare her. But I'm kinda curious. I kind of want to. I kind of want to do other stuff just to see what she does. Let's feed Temmy flakes. Temmy only wants the Temmy flakes. Oh, <laughs> so hunger dies. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? <laughs> Temmy is trying to glomp you. Uh, I'm curious what the other ones do. Flex? You flex at Temmy. No, muscles are not cute. N no, they're not. Oh, I have to disagree, winky face. <laughs> no, not Aaron. Just the two of us, huh, winky face? Oh, God. Alright, gotta keep flexing at him. What the hell was that? <laughs> that was so bizarre. Oh! It lights up the grass. The other ones didn't seem to do anything of the sort, though. Hey, Mold Smalls. Goodbye. Oh, wait. Whoa. Is that one special? This one's special. It's having quiet time. Uh, imitate? You approach Molt Small. Suddenly. What the? Uh. Mold. Big. Gyrates reservedly. Oh, God. R Reserved gyration's my only weakness. I really should heal, though. Uh, let's take another bite of the... Unicycle! Oh my god, you eat the bicycle and it turns into a unicycle. You eat the unicycle. I play Toho. Oh wait, that did a lot of damage. Shit. Need some distance. You need some distance? Okay, I'll unhug you. You don't hug Mold... Mold Big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Oh, bad place to be! Oh. Seems comfortable with your presence. Good, I'm about to die. Let's eat the cinnamon bun. Damn it. Seems comfortable with your presence, okay. Oh wait, I think we're good. Yep. Hmm. Weird. Do I need to like turn this one off? Uh... Oh, wait. You don't... You don't actually need the lights. The lights help you, but you don't... Oh. Oh, God. The washing thing and Aaron? Hmm. God, I'm facing a lot of enemies here. Okay, what do I do for the washing thing? Washua. Uh... Oh, we gotta make a dirty joke. Right. Dirty joke? Okay. Um, oh, whoa. 
Aaron's all ready to flee? Okay. Oh, you can't actually go around fast enough? You gotta dodge. Watch it was friends with a little bird. Aw. Okay, now we need to say, can you clean me? And then we gotta hit the green thing. Oh, I didn't send any my way. Clean me again. There we go. Okay, so I need to find a secret way to get to it, I guess. One that isn't lit up. Maybe I can just go straight here. No. Wait. Wait, it's lit up right now? Oh, oh, up here. Oh my god, there's a lot of mobs around here. Whoa. Alright, the one on the right, the mold big, is actually really hard. So let's deal with the washing thing first. Make a joke. Now, clean me. Green! Got it. Whew. That was easier than I thought. Now you go away. Okay, you need some distance. Unhug. Now we're good. Whew. I just want to hit the corners to see if I've missed like a secret entrance. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. I don't, I don't get it. What does this do? It makes them disappear for a second? Oh. Oh. It's, it's fading. Ah, so I've got it. Oh, dang, there's so many mobs here. Jesus. Oh. The turtle wasn't kidding about needing items. I'm going to run through all my dang freaking items. Make a joke. Toho! Toho skills! Okay, you can go away. Alright, clean me, please. It probably really is safer just to hope the green comes to you, because it's almost guaranteed to actually be able to dodge them. So if the green doesn't come to you, just do it again, I guess. It's, it's fine. It's kind of boring, though. <sighs> oh! I just examined. Didn't mean to. Alright, I'm just gonna go for the green. There we go. Now I really need to heal. Astronaut food.
please, no more mobs, please. Hmm. Is this the right way? Yeah, it looks like it. Please tell me there's a save point. Oh god. Behind you? Hmm? Oh. Hey, I ain't wearing a tutu. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. <laughs> Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! You aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Now's my chance! Wait, there's- I thought that was like a doorway or something. Maybe that's not my chance. Run backwards? Ooh, pathway. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish... You promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. Huh. Am I perhaps one of those people? No, that wouldn't make any sense, would it? I don't know. However, there is a prophecy. The angel. The one who has seen the surface. They will return. And the underground will go empty. Dear God, where's the next save point? Yo! Yo, I, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but... I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um... Yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Nah. Yo, what? So I have to do it. Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo, whoa, wait! Help! I tripped! Oh, are you gonna make... I'm gonna do it. Come on. Yo, dude. If you if you want to hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. Huh? 
Well, that actually worked. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Later. Oh my god, is there ever going to be a save point again? I feel like it's been like 30 minutes since I saved. Whoa. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. <clears throat> it all started long ago. No, you know what? Screw it. Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kids you could run away from me again. Let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human. Let's end this, right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Foo hoo 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 hoo. Thank God a save point! Oh! The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. I have two things to say. One, this music is amazing! Oh my god, it's so good. It's so freaking good. The second thing is... This episode's about an hour long, so I'm gonna end it right here. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back soon, and uh, goodbye. Winky face.